Even when the skies over Sydney Harbour were filled with smoke from bushfires earlier this year, cruise ships were still arriving, spilling cast of passengers into the city. The demand and popularity was so great, there actually weren't enough places to berth cruise ships. Now cruise ships are seen as high-risk vehicles for spreading the coronavirus and are no longer welcomed in Australian waters. Earlier this month, the Australian Border Force launched the biggest peacetime maritime operation in the country's history to help a handful of cruise ships return to their home ports. It is difficult for people and businesses who derive their livelihood and jobs from cruising to see it demonised in the way it has been and for its contribution to be discounted and devalued. For Australia, one ship in particular has come to symbolise that threat. When the Ruby Princess docked in Sydney last month, Almost 2,700 passengers were allowed to disembark before testing for the virus had been completed. We will be contacting everyone by phone to confirm that they have understood the requirements around self-isolation. To date, more than a dozen passengers have died from the virus and hundreds have since tested positive. There is clear uh, evidence that Corona-19 has been brought off that ship. New South Wales police have launched a criminal investigation to determine whether the country's biosecurity laws were broken. It's raised questions about whether the ship's owner was transparent about the health of its passengers and crew. The ship followed to the letter all of the formal health clearance processes that were active at that time. What can't be overlooked amid all of this is the impact the cruise ship industry has on Australia's economy, generating more than five billion Australian dollars a year and creating nearly 20,000 jobs. But that revenue source, like tourism as a whole, has been put on hold, and the future of the cruise ship industry remains uncertain. The day of the gigantic cruise ship is probably going to be uh, on a hiatus. It's not going to happen to the same extent because there's this great need for the cruise industry to rebuild confidence and uh, reputation in the market. For now, the focus in Australia is on steering all remaining cruise ships away from the country's ports and out of its waters. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.